Greg Smith with DWR will be presenting to us the Water Data Library. <laughs> so I only have, my name's Greg Smith, I'm with the California Department of Water Resources. I don't even have a PowerPoint presentation because it's too much work to do. Uh, but I want to divide my, my talk really into three phases, because Water Data Library, this is the, the home page, and if you're typing along in the audience, it's uh, www.water.ca.gov slash water data library, all one word. But there's really three data sources in Water Data Library, uh, and you can get the three data sources are listed over on your left. There's groundwater data, there's water quality data, and then there's continuous data. And so we're more like the first data set that Steve presented, Seedon, uh, that actually has data. If you click on one or all of those data sources, you will see where the data is collected on a map. You can go and you can uh, click on an individual site or a group of sites. You can download the data for yourself. So <clears throat> groundwater level data, it, this data set is pretty much draw as the, up until a couple of years ago when we, when CASGEM came in, this was the only place to get groundwater level data in DWR. Uh, it's the same data set that drives both CASGEM and water data library, so you can get it either place. Um, most of the data started in uh, 1960s or so. We may have some uh, back earlier than that, but uh, we have about 43,000 uh, wells in California that, we, that are monitored either by us or cooperating agencies. Um, it, the wells are monitored generally quarterly or um, one, one, two, or four times a year. Let me say that. And so the, the um, data is updated Regularly, I can't answer Reiner's question of how big it is because I, I don't know, but I think it's about a million and uh, 1.2 million records. The water quality data, um, this is really, we have a lab, if any of you know, um, DWR has Bright Lab, so anything that goes through Bright Lab can get, uh, gets put on Water Data Library only since 1998, so the, the data is from 1998 to the current, uh, cur to the present, that's where you get it. There's a gap, we do have some records from 1992 back, uh, those you'd have to contact us and talk about, uh, and we could potentially get them for you. Uh, I have no idea how big that data set is or how, how big it's growing. That one, though, we are working currently to do an exchange with the EPA network. We have a contract where we're working to exchange that data with EPA network, so that is connected uh, outside of the department. And then the final data set is the continuous data, and this is a little bit of a mixture of many things. As um, Dave Parker talked about with Seeden, we have surface water data in the continuous data. Uh, which is either stage or flow. We have some water quality parameters that are generally uh, grab samples of some sort. And then we have some groundwater data that's monitored either on a uh, daily or weekly that essentially has a data recorder on it. So anything that has a data recorder on it goes in that last, core, uh, last category of the uh, continuous data. And, and so you click on that, you get reports, um, and you can get either annual reports or period of record. That data set is about uh, four gigs now. It'll fit on, it'll barely fit on one DVD uh, and is growing all of the time. Um, we started, I want to say, with 700 sites in the department about 10 years ago. We currently have about 1,300 sites now, so it's continually growing. It's not really connected to any other data source, so we're not interconnected with any other. Um, but if you call us for any of the three data sources, you need downloads that aren't available through the website, feel free, and uh, we, can, we can provide you information. I think there's a link on the left-hand side there for my contact information, Greg Smith, so it'd be 
greg.smith at water.ca.gov. That's Water Data Library. Before I, I leave the stage, because, Steve, <laughs> because I was invited, I'd like to also tell you about Water Pi, because Water Pi is something that it's, it's conceptual right now, but it mimics or would like to follow in the footsteps of many of what you, much of what you've seen today. And it's, uh, I work for the California Water Plan, and one of the issues with the California Water Plan is accessibility to a lot of data to do strategic planning for, for water in California. And so we'd like a federated system where the data is controlled by those people that collect it and bring it together in a portal where people could access it, download it, and use it on their desktop. Right now, we're just in the planning stages, but if you come with a checkbook in hand, I'm sure we can uh, work with you. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's the reality of state, state government. So uh, Water Data Library, Water Pi, if you have any questions, I'll feel free to uh, field them. Yes? I, I was just curious, what's the, um, is there a plan or a, a way in which you would use an API or something to feed Water Data Library into another system like Seton, or is that? So for, for the water quality portion, yes, we, we could potentially feed Seton because we're working on an exchange with US EPA, and they pull their, their data from uh, US EPA. They have an exchange system there, so potentially we, could, we will get it into Seton, and I expect that to be in place by the end of the, the calendar year. Any other questions? Yes? Are these data, data or do they also include like USGS stream gauges? Um, they're pretty much only DWR data. The groundwater level data we collect with local cooperators. So, you know, there's, I don't know, many, many different cooperating agencies that give us data. And a lot of county agencies provide the data, but I don't think we download USGS or Bureau of Reclamation groundwater data uh, and load it in here. So it'd be complementary to those. So other than that, it's just DWR data. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you, Greg.